Hey, Myrmico team. You know, sometimes the deeper you dig into the world of ants, the more you realize we didn't invent anything. Take leafcutter ants, for example. They've been farming for millions of years, way before any human even thought about planting a seed. But what they do isn't just gardening, it's a jaw-dropping case of co-evolution. These ants don't even eat the leaves they cut with such precision. They use them to grow a fungus, and that's what they eat. And that fungus, it can't survive without them. And the ants, they can't live without it. It's a total alliance, complete dependence, a perfect symbiosis. But wait, it gets even wilder. These ants fertilize their crops with nitrogen-rich bacteria. They also protect them with other bacteria that produce natural antibiotics. Yep, like an all-organic treatment against pests and diseases. And the whole system works like a superorganism. Imagine a cow, but spread out over millions of tiny bodies. And the fungus at the center is their shared stomach. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And how they feed the fungus? That's something straight out of a molecular biology lab. They eat a very specific part of the fungus, the part rich in enzymes. And those enzymes aren't fully digested, they get excreted in tiny droplets onto the freshly cut leaves the workers just delivered. It's kind of like they're dripping digestive saliva, and this is where the brilliance of the system kicks in. Among these enzymes, there's one superstar, Lacasse. It neutralizes plant toxins, stuff like tannins and flavonoids that would normally stop the fungus from growing. And this enzyme is so useful that, over time, evolution selected a special version of the gene that makes it, LGLCC1. This version is tough enough to survive the partial digestion process, pass through the ant's body, and go to work right where it's most needed, the top of the fungus garden. What these ants have done with their fungus is a form of domestication, but even more extreme than what we humans did with wheat or corn. The two species have evolved together for so long that they can't survive without each other anymore. It's a fusion of destinies, shaped by millions of years of cooperation. If you're still here, drop the word fungus in the comments. And remember, in nature, the strongest bonds aren't always the ones you can see, but the ones built together, drop by drop, enzyme by enzyme.